Hi there, this is Kyle. I am going to show you today how to use Globus to transfer files into and out of Beocat. So the first thing I do is I go to globus.org and from there I'm going to log in. And the first thing it asks me is how to log in. Now this time it knows that I'm Kansas State University. However, what you'll probably have to do if you haven't logged in before is click on here and then start typing Kansas and it will give you Kansas State University as one of the options there and continue. When I do that, it's going to bring me up to the K-State EID integrated single sign-on login page and from there it's going to, in my case, send me back to Duo. If you aren't Duo enabled then you won't get this step and I approve that on my phone. I thought I approved it on my phone. There we go. Now it's logging me in. And now I am within the file manager of Globus. So what I want to do now, to you know, transfer files to different places, the first thing I want to do is I want to choose Beocat as one of my endpoints. So I have a couple here that I've used before. You won't have anything here because you don't have, this is under recently used and it remembers who I am. So I am going to search all endpoints up here. I'm going to start typing Beocat. And when I do, it's going to bring up two options here. The first one is the top one. That is the on-campus uh, DTN that sits behind the university firewall. The Fiona sits outside the university firewall. We'll talk about that one here in a minute because they're used slightly differently. They're, they're pretty similar, but there's some minor differences there. So the first one I'm going to use is the on-campus DTN. That's data transfer node is what D DTN stands for. So now it's telling me all about this server and I want to activate my credentials. That way it knows how, how to log into there. And this is going to use my EID and EID password. It's filled it out for me because I use LastPass, but uh, you'll have to type in your username and password if you're not using a password manager. And then I want to open it in the file manager. And now it's logging me into Beocat, and here's what I have in my Beocat. And this is what I'm going to be working using here today is these shared files and and just empty spaces here. Now I can do things in my Beocat account. I can create a new folder. Uh, I can share files. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, and we can transfer it to something else. But we have to have something else to select too. So that doesn't do you much good. So if you're transferring this from an outside entity from another Globus enabled uh, site, you can select them there. We don't have that option here. So I'm going to go to, not my collections, more options, and I'm going to install Globus Connect Personal. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say my laptop. It's going to, by default, leave you with your password there, your, uh, you know, sorry, your email address there. K-State, and I happen to be on a Mac now, so I'm going to generate the setup key, which is step two. I'm going to go ahead and copy that, and then I'm going to download the Globus Connect personal application. As soon as it's done here, I'm going to open up in Finder. Windows, this will be slightly different, but it'll lead you through the steps too. Put that in my applications. Copied that. So now I can go into my applications and I now have Globus Connect Personal. It was downloaded from the internet. Yes, I still want to open it. It'll only ask you that the first time. And now you see I have up here a little G up here. So I'm going to go to Preferences. This is at telling me where it's going to try to move files from.
and I should be able to at this point see under endpoints administered by me and I should have my laptop right there. Uh, it says it uh, requires activation so copying that Globus Connect key and now this is kind of a strange thing here I have to go to preferences delete the configuration no I don't want to delete the configuration sorry about that Globus Yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back into Globus again. And now it's looking for that setup key. That's what this is looking for. So I'm going to paste that setup key. And now I can open it in File Manager. Now you can see I have Beocat on this side and my laptop on this side. Here's my files. This is a nice little shortcut menu, so you can see all my files over here on my laptop. You can see all my Beocat files here. And then all these other icons seem to make a whole lot more sense. Uh, we can ch transfer files between the two and so things like that. So let's do this. I have, I made a folder on my laptop for sharing files. And I can do things like just take file 10 and drop it over here on this side. And it tells me it's submitting a transfer request. The nice thing about Globus is that once I've started this transfer, as long as this is running on my laptop and Globus is running on Beocat, things will automatically happen in the background. So we don't need to even stay on the screen. I could quit this and it wouldn't hurt a darn thing. So you saw that I had all my stuff over here. Now we're going to create what's called a collection. And a collection is stuff that you can share with other people. So I have here shared files. And if you look in here, I have, I just have files called file one, file two. I just created these just for this demonstration. And so let's click on that shared files. You can see that file 10 transferred now. That shared files and now I can click on the share button over here and it says I don't have any shared endpoints on this DTN so I'm going to add a shared endpoint and now it's told me I'm going to share the squiggle that is my home directory and shared files underneath there so you might need to it would be more common probably to sh share files from bulk so you could do slash bulk slash your username and then some folder under there and I'm going to give it a display name of Kyle's shared files for demo. And I'm going to create the share. Now, right now, you can see that only I have read and write access to that share. So I'm the only one that can get files in and out. However, I can share this with other people, either on campus or off campus. And I can do that with share, with share with. This path is relative to the base. So you could actually share, add permissions to just some subset underneath there. But I can add individual people here. So my boss is Dan at ksu.edu. And I can give him read but not write access here. and I don't want to send an email and add permission and now you see that Dan also has read permission but no write permission we can also share with anybody that'd be anybody in the world would have access to this and they and they would be able to put files in there I highly dissuade you from giving all users write access because you remember you are uh, you're responsible for what's in your own directory. So if somebody starts uploading movies into your folder, that's going to be all on you. I would not suggest doing this, even though it's unlikely that that would happen. I'm going to cancel that. You notice that this activity 
has now a little one beside it. That means there's some there's a message there. So this tells me that connection failed. That's not good. It must have been when I transferred things. But the file showed up. We saw that the file showed up. So endpoints. I go back to endpoints again. Now you can see I have my shared files for my demo. And you're going to just see right there we can open file manager. And now this is in that directory underneath my home directory. That was shared files directory. And I can transfer. I can sync files. All, everything from one place to another that way. Drag and drop or by transferring or syncing the entire thing. So that's how to use the on-campus DTN. The off-campus DTN, the Fiona, if I go back here to endpoints, and again, these are recent, more recently used, so I'm just going to look for Bayocat again, and Fiona. Now, you see I have collections over here, and here I have a couple things that I've already got on there. But by default, you can't just open this in File Manager to your home directory. You have to add a collection. So if I wanted to add a collection, if I just wanted to read stuff out of my home directory, I'd have to go through, do the login again. It's different this time. It's not the same one, so it's going to ask for my stuff. So here... I now have base directory. So if I was wanting to share out my home directory, my user ID is Kyle Hudson, as you can see here. So if I want to share out my home directory, even if it's just with me, I have to put in homes Kyle Hudson. And I can say Kyle home directory. for demo purposes. I don't have to put anything in there, but that way I remember I clean it up later. The default directory is, again, based on the other. So if you don't do anything with it, it will uh, it'll default to the whole thing. So now I've created a collection. So now I can go back here to my file manager. I have my files on this side, and I can set back up to my laptop over here on the other side, just like I did before with my sharing files. So you can, again, do that with any of your own bulk files, anything that you have permission to. It's using your permissions to do this. But the, the key difference between the off-campus, the Fiona, is that you have to create a collection before you can even start sharing files. That being said, you can share files with anything you have permissions to. So I can share any individual directory out of my bulk directory. I can share anything out of my homes directory. Anything I have permission to, I can I can share this way. Again, I would highly dissuade you from uh, trying to share writable to everyone. But you can make files readable to everyone on if, it, if it's research data that you're wanting to be published or something like that where you want to be able, anybody to be able to get there, you can do it that way. And that is a quick overview on using Globus. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, send feedback to baocat at cs.ksu.edu.